and the heavens is, is about to disappear. And even so, you know about this heaven and this hell will go away. So, the Apollo being the most potent form of that was key in Havana and in Cuba, but Cuba also had that dog on vice going down. They had that dog on gambling, uh, prostitution, but they had a whole black element in Cuba that they didn't have in Vegas. So therefore they had to shut down Cuba. And that's the reason why when they asked that particular question about Castro, why is it he was receiving hundreds of millions of dollars since 1959 from the United States government? Because it was all a part of an elaborate system to shut down magic in certain places of the planet. Because we know that communism and capitalism is one and the same. So if he was communism, he was with the United States government. Because it's one and the same and they all operate on the same aspect. So therefore, for the simple fact, uh, for the simple fact, the Bay of Pigs and all that stuff that had, it was all a part of the government aspect. What's that? What's the deal with the Che Guevara that the whole revolution? Well, that was, Che Guevara was Guevara. down in where? That wasn't in Cuba, that was in all. In, in, in Bolivia, and that whole nine yards, but, he, but, 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 but the whole concept was, is you got your boy, they had to have a revolutionary aspect. That's to make people mad. It's got to be legitimate. You understand what I'm saying? But we're talking about cash flow. It's a deal. It's called a cash flow. Even we even got people that said that he tried one time to destroy the Santeria down there. You see what I'm saying? It's very key that you understand what's actually going down. They had to put it on lockdown. What's that, brother? Huh? He's a Jesuit. Well, we got that uh, 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 that that book uh, that the brother brought. The new terrorist talking about the Jesuit priest, which is all a part of that whole Illuminati industrial complex. You see what I'm saying? So my point is, I don't know. He was a, was 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 acting in the whole Santeria thing down there. You see, but the key here is we're still talking about the pilot. Now, immediately, they're starting to open back up Cuba, and the first thing started happening, the press got to go ahead in August to start printing materials, and all of a sudden, these books come up. The, uh, How to Use the Powers of Darkness by Gary, what's that, uh, Brodsky, B-R-O-D-S-K-Y. And here's a book and stuff and all that. See, I remember Dr. Sadie was saying, that when he was down there, and where was he? Where's he from? Where's he at all? Honduras. Honduras and all. He said he saw tons of books on black people and magic, and black people, and they thought of black people of such a high level. He said, but all of it was in Spanish. That's the key. Just like in France, they got tons of things that's in France. There's tons of things that's in France that they make sure that never is translated into English. In, 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 into English. Certain things in German. You see what I'm saying? This is the way they can keep things out by a... That's why um, people saying, God damn, y'all got to get bilingual. You all got to have multiple languages coming up in here. But the reason why the conservatives have been fighting against it is to keep people on lockdown. They don't want your children to speak no more than one language. Right. You see what I'm saying? That's, 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 that's one of the keys here. And the reason why is because they don't want us to have access to that particular stuff. That's the key because then again, you can go beyond that. Now here's a book here. How to Use the Powers of Darkness by Gary Brodsky, B-R-O-D-S-K-Y, uh, Master Practitioner of the Black Arts. Now, this is the key. Dr. Sager said he saw all kinds of materials down um, um, in, in, in the whole Mesoamerica and in South America and in the whole Mexican thing and, the whole, uh, and even in the Caribbean, but it was all in Spanish. All types of stuff. So, a couple of years ago, I got a book from Juju, a big, big book, with all these babies. And babies, as you know, are these particular sigils. They call them signatures, they call them babies. You know it's popularized in Voodoo that they use the babies in cornmeal and stuff. But it was all in Spanish. A book that all, a book almost 300 pages about all these babies in Spanish. Okay, very key, because they had to lock down certain things. Now all of a sudden, because Cuba has opened up, uh, they did to go ahead, and this is the key here. The thing here is, the babies in here are the lost babies of the whole Europe divination system in the whole Europe system. We knew that because you have your babies for your voodoo, but what happened to the babies for the Europe in here? Everybody from Oshun, Yemen, and all of them got their own babies.
And now this is stuff that's just coming out of Cuba. The guy that looked like, looked like Vin, Vinny Ballerino or something. Some white boys looked like an Italian, some Cuban. But they had this stuff on lockdown. They had it on lockdown. You see what I'm saying? Very key. So we, we, the whole, they made systems that survived in the Western Hemisphere that, that from Europe. We never saw it. And when I would see these things, it would be in, 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 in Spanish. Here's a book on this whole thing, and it's, and it's actually the lost veles or the lost symbols of the whole Europe thing. And uh, it's called the, uh, How to Use the Powers of Darkness, uh, the, uh, uh, A Book of Shadows by Gary Brodsky, Master Practitioner of the Dark Arts. This stuff is coming out of Cuba. Uh, huh? If you, veles or signatures, uh, it's, 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 it's a symbol, you put the symbol down, the God in the underworld notices the symbol and it comes to that particular symbol. It's, it's like a casting, it's just like you mash the P on the computer, the P come up on the damn screen. Well these symbols and all channels the energies of the gods through. And we knew that, 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 that all these elaborate systems that came out of Africa, the Europeans had the babies too. And all these things were lost. Now we got this shit coming up out of Cuba. Then you understand. Now it's coming up out of Cuba. Cuba. Then all of a sudden in August, this is this, these all these things is coming out of um, original publications. Original publications out of uh, Miami, which is uh, Miami. See, the, the original publications is where you get all the stuff from the whole Cuban and the whole Santeria world and all that and all that and they used to be with the whole Europe thing in Africa. Original publications. Just uh, go on the um, um, go on the uh, the uh, internet and, and uh, 1888 occult O C C U L T slash one one eight eight occult original publications one eight eight occult. All you can um uh, all you can go www.originalpub. Com. Now in here, here's another one, just translated, for black, and translated this shit for 10 years. It just translated in August, it just hit the United States in December. This is the book on Paulo. The book on Paulo by, uh, what's the guy's name, um, uh, Baba Raul, uh, that's Kenny Zarez, C-A-N-I-Z-A-R-E-S. C A N I Z A R E S. The book on Apollo. This this thing was just translated in August, but it's coming from Cuba. You see what I'm saying? Huh? Hmm? I just said his name. Baba Raul oh, okay. Candy Zarez and stuff. The book on Apollo. This is just coming from Cuba. This book just hit the United States in this December. And all it is talking about um it is in the city of Cuba that the the famous birthplace of some of the most powerful Poleros. That is the, 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 the priest of the Apollo. The most powerful Poleros ever. One of these spiritual giants is, is this particular guy, DeMarco Gomez, which is this particular person, that this guy is the heir of the, of, of, um, of, 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 is, is this, this guy, Cantares, is the, uh, uh, is this, He's doing, he, he preserved this guy's teachings from the uh, DeMarco Gomez and stuff, who for nearly 50 years led one of the most potent Apollo houses in Cuba. You see what I'm saying? So, using the instructor's knowledge as well as careful scholarship it, uh, uh, and some of the, uh, to identify his work, the Cuban, San, uh, Cuban Santeria working with the night, this guy here wrote this book here. Uh, translated this stuff in the last 10 years and stuff, and the stuff is just coming out because they're opening up Cuba. Now you understand what's going down. What, what's going down, why they had to put shit on lockdown. It's about putting shit on lockdown based on the magic on the planet. Now one of these things why they open this particular stuff up is because what is called the seraphonic world is completely dead now. The Yoruba aspect, a lot of the things that's happening in Yoruba is the ancestral aspect is still powerful, and that's rising. Remember I told you in the last lecture how they had to, uh, 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 the brother was down in um, Texas because I'm going to um, I'm going to Houston to speak for the brother in about two weeks um, down in he and he was um, down in um, Louisiana and he and he sits in this long distance truck and they fill his truck up and he drives it up the street and he sits in his truck but most of the time because he doesn't do anything he sits in the truck until they tell him and it takes about a day to fill this stuff up I don't know how long it takes. But he drives, it's a sugarcane field. And he said he let that, that night he could see the slaves working in the fields. 
and all. And then they said all of a sudden the slave masters um, started coming down dead. Well, let's put it in the descendants of the slave masters, the owners of the sugarcane fields, started coming down dead. One of the keys on coming down dead is you kill yourself. That's very key. A lot of that activity happened in Cuba, no, in Haiti, um, in 1994 when the American soldiers went back up in there. So, uh, uh, and he said a lot of them killed themselves. And I also talked about how the cruise ships, the last lecture, how the cruise ship was going all up out, out there in the Caribbean, which is the middle class, and all the people was coming back sick. Those were the ghosts. Those were the spirits. Those were the ancestral spirits because the ancestral spirits now, because the particular realm that used to be used to hold this physical apparatus together is now dissipating. It is now dying. Systems are breaking down, even in this government. That's why they got to put you on lockdown. Things are failing every day. So as a result, as, as, as a result, the ancestors are able to do a lot of things now, but those spirits are not bound in the other world. They're able to freely do a lot of things now that they couldn't do. And so now you can tap into the power of the ancestors, and that's why you're now getting visitations and all kinds of shit. There's all kinds of things that's going on, and now there's things that's happening where you, you probably have all types of stuff with ancestors. In the spirit realm, if you just open up and find out that there ain't no goddamn ghosts out here, it's your ancestors. You see what I'm saying? So these things happen. So the cruise ships go out there and they all come back and get sick. You know, and all these people come and get sick. They even made the movie Ghost Ship. All this stuff is going down and all. They know what time it is and stuff. So what's happening, this stuff is breaking down. So, on a, also on, so as a result, they're freeing up certain systems because they, here again, they want certain people to go in and make work magic for the government. You see what I'm saying? So that they can somehow harness a certain enough, enough energy to save themselves. But the shit is over. And that's where this, um, this, 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 this remember I talked about this book, Girls, uh, uh, Voodoo Shadow Wars. And in there, how they're taking the voodoo and trying to fight against the pilo. And so they say that the Illuminati uses the pilo and they want the people to get the voodoo, uh, young people to fight against the pilo. And that's the whole scheme of this particular role playing book. You see what I'm saying? This particular uh, Girls, Voodoo Wars is to fight against the Apollo, which is the last strongest aspect left on the planet, uh, is, is, is the actual Apollo. Because the, why? Because the less people you have in a system, the more potent the system is because it's not saturated. And I've been talking about this for years, how the other systems have become saturated because they were never meant to be religions. And like how you got uh, one million practitioners of Europe alone in the United States, and that's not including white practitioners of Europe alone in the United States, and that's not even including Santeria world, which has even more white people, because you see what I'm saying, because they had access to it in the Western Hemisphere for longer. But they got more, you got 100 white practitioners of Europe, and we talked about how you got a whole Jew guy that sets over a whole Europe crew in the United States. And, they also, and, and also how the whole voodoo thing and you do all this voodoo thing and voodoo is being usurped by white people all over the country. You see what I'm saying? So these African traditional religions were not meant to have thousands of people. That's what makes it a religion. And then the practitioners all of a sudden, because they have lost the science behind this and stuff, they are treating these things as religion. You worship these gods and you do things just like you would do in Christianity, and that's not the way it was supposed to be. Because the entire aspect of you raising yourself up to God is missing. It's been deteriorated. So all of a sudden, these are religions, and so, and once it becomes on a religious aspect, the energy dissipates and is destroyed. So now what you're talking about is a whole bunch of dead shit. You got some things that you can deal out of, but a major force for this white boy, this shit ain't happening. You see what I'm saying? Now watch now because they're getting ready to do some shit in Nigeria. Very key. They're getting ready to take. Remember now, your boy's book, Richard Noon's book, Ice the Ultimate Disaster, said that their goal was if push come to shove, that they're going to Africa. White, white people. And he told the people that in 1978. You see. Uh, Ice the Ultimate Disaster, Richard Noon's book. Now, Anytime they get ready to do something with the Black Hawk Down movie, you know what I'm saying? They put that out so they can go back into Somalia, but there's some shit down in Somalia. Uh, I talked about it on my videos, if you read Gerald Massey's book in the beginning, and um, Ancient Egypt Light of the World, 
He said there's 30, 32,000 papyrus rolls of, of, of the Book of the Dead and other things, other sacred artifacts is being held by some people down in Nubia and Somalia, which is ancient point. And also we know that there's some in these areas for spiritual reasons. So now we know the whole Black Hawk now, and they went into Somalia first, going after the warlord. They went back, they were going to do it again, but it wasn't right this time. No, nobody didn't buy this shit. They couldn't get it past the American public because the building just blew up. So what the fuck are you going to Africa for? So when the Black Hawk down movement started coming out, they were still dealing with the whole, um, uh, what's your boy over there? Um, they blew up the building, so called quote unquote. Um, huh? Um, Osama bin Laden, who nobody don't know no other motherfucking name because they changed from Osama to Saddam Hussein. Right. And people don't know. And why is it this Christmas it wasn't even Saddam Hussein? It was Korea. Yeah. Now it's back on Saddam Hussein. And that's to keep the people in a frenzy, chasing the motherfucking ghosts. You see what I'm saying? But they couldn't do it at that time because the, the Osama bin Laden thing was too young for them to go back into Somalia. Now, the key here is they're getting ready to go into Nigeria for some reason. Now, mark my word, Bruce Willis. It's coming out of the movie. Something, yeah. something red sun or some kind of sun. Yeah. He's coming, huh? Tears of the sun. He's coming out with a movie where they gotta go rescue, rescue a few helpless black people from a ruthless Nigerian government. Now, first of all, look at the psychological factor behind it. No one, most people don't even know what they don't even know how to spell Nigeria in America. Most people. So the first dose that anybody ever get of an African state like New, like 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 y'all on Nigeria. Which, by the way, got one of the most progressive cities in the continental global, continental, uh, the continental Africa, and also in the whole global aspect of the United States, one of the most progressive cities. But you don't know that shit. You see what I'm saying? So the first thing that they don't get about Nigeria is this is a motherfucking place you don't want to be. You see what I'm saying? So Bruce Willis is getting ready to go in, and they're getting ready to. In this ruthless dictator, something like, look at fucking Bruce Willis. That heart is not up in Africa with that bullshit. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You see, well, no, fuck Russia. You know, that's old news now. He up in Africa. That's what I'm trying to tell you, because push come to shove, they're going to take these by land. You see what I'm saying? That's one of the keys, and they can do it. Because the only thing they got to do is prime you with the movie. You understand what I'm saying? When some stuff break out, you already got a reference. Just like they prime you with 9-11 with the damn movie with uh, Denzel Washington. Siege. Siege. You see what I'm saying with that bull? So this is one of the keys and stuff like this and all. They're running scared. They're running scared. Now on the other hand, I went to Vegas for Christmas. Went up to the Luxor Hotel and did a damn ritual for two hours. When we got there, one of the sisters in California, she said they're going to treat you with like raw to when you get down there. First of all, there ain't no black people in the places. We met one black people, they go, hey, right I'm like, hey, you know, another group. And we got up in there and all this stuff, and, and, and the people was treating us like raw. Everywhere we go, people, white people was real nice and shit. And all. But I didn't know that, you know, first of all, they got three white murals of them looking like Victorian European, Arctic, Nordic crackers as the Egyptians. But the rest of that shit is all black. I didn't know that they had that kind of stuff up in there, the excavation. I took pictures and stuff, but I'm talking about they literally copied all the temples and shit and put that shit in that damn Luxor Hotel. That shit mm -hmm. is dynamite. Mm -hmm. So we went and stayed up in the pyramid and did a damn ritual. A uh, ritual took two and a half hours long. Then we went to damn Hollywood and stayed in Hollywood for a week and went to the Pacific Ocean and did another ritual in the Pacific Ocean. Then went back, when we went back to Vegas, we had room one. Uh, 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 we had the room 11141, and when we went back, I said, we want 11141, they gave us the same damn room, and the people, the people was checking in, it was packed. And uh, but it was spiritual and stuff, because we sealed that room off to come back to it and stuff. And I'm telling you, a lot of spiritual breakthroughs and stuff. I said, well, look, they got this shit, but it's a ritual going on out there. That whole shit out there is the, the, that is the powerhouse of the United States. That Vegas shit is no joke. It's no joke. That shit is magic like a motherfucker. The MGM Grand Hotel is a big green hotel when you go out there. Big green hotel. When you go out there, MGM is the people who produce what? Wizard of Oz. In Wizard of Oz, they had what? Emerald City. They got the lion that's sitting up front in the front of the thing. That's the Lion of Judah, Segment, the Sphinx, all of that whole nine yards. So they got this shit hooked up. 
They got it hooked up. They got a, a connecting uh, uh, casino called Excalibur. They got the dragons and all that stuff up in there. So they got everything up in there. It's just that down in Cuba they had the black magic. Here they got the fucking white magic as far as what they use, sir, and make it their own. But we bust shit up up in that damn Luxor. You see what I'm saying? Very key. A lot of stuff going down and all. So, let's go on. Got a lot of things. I want to deal with this particular thing here because in 19, 1993, uh, well, first of all, this is interesting here because uh, um, this is another I told you so. You know, I got a, you know, I got groups of people, you know, uh, interested in my lectures now and all because uh, they, they cloned this so-called child, uh, whatever this baby, in Christmas and stuff. And, you know, this is old news. It's been cloned since 1945. <laughs> But you know how it is. That nigga crazy until the white boy does it. Now all of a sudden I'm getting a phone call like, hey man, shit, you was right about that. Well, I told you that shit in 1995, 1994. I've been talking about this shit for seven, eight years and stuff. Now all of a sudden it's only a reality when the cracker say, hey, that's wrong for people. I'm like, shit, they just made the shit official. They just made the damn shit official. You know what I'm saying? That kind of thing here and all, you see what I'm saying? So, uh, but they got this whole clone thing going on and all, so all of a sudden now, I'm popular, just throwing that type of shit. I'm like, well, damn, you know shit. You know what I'm saying? But what is it? We gotta wait till the damn government say stuff? You see what I'm saying? That type of stuff. So that's, that's, that's very in interesting. It's very interesting how things go. Um, this particular aspect of, um, I, when I, in, in 1993, I hooked up with the psychic, um, Ty Seeley back in the day. You all know her. And the first thing she did when she did when one of the first channels came through was the entity Metatron. But he said it was Metatron, he said he's also Melchizedek, and you can take that all the way back to Osiris and all this type of stuff. But anyway, Metatron is a it's it's, it's all the same Horus, Osiris, complex. You see what I'm saying? Uh, a Christos type, messianic type figure, Metatron. And he came through and it was the first person to channel to me was this Metatron with some of the information I got. It's interesting here because, you know, did anybody see this thing on Carlos Santana? Santana in 1995, that was the year after Metatron came to me in 94. 95, Santana said that the angel Metatron came to him and said, look, we can put you back on top. And that's unheard of for a person that ain't been on top in years. But if in order to get on top, you got to have young people buy your shit. And they said, we can put you back on top if you just do what we say. And as a result, one of the biggest albums of 1999 and 2000 was the uh, Supernatural album. And Metatron is the one that did the stuff. He said he went into a, uh, an occult bookstore and was looking for the angel Metatron. And somebody said, uh, why do you, he said, I'm looking for a Metatron. He said, well, um, uh, some books on Metatron. And the guy said, well, uh, uh, why do you want, he said, he came to visit me last night in a dream, in a vision. He said, well, we don't have to, he said, well, if you come, we're having, um, we're having, we just so happen to be having a meditation on Metatron. Will you be interested to come in the next night? He came the next night and a whole lot of things, which led to the album and all to the point where as he ended up, the album ended up becoming what? No, no one for like six weeks or nine weeks. No, 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 that shit was like months. Yeah, you know, you know, and in, 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 in the song of Maria Maria, which really hooked him back up with the hip-hop community, hooked him up with the hip-hop community, in the song, he's talking about Mama Shola. And Mama Shola is the... The Apollo aspect of Oshun. You see what I'm saying? It's in the song Maria Maria. You know, what's that? Metatron. And at the end of the concert, him and Macy Gray did a did uh, the song Supernatural together. Uh-huh. She tired. Yeah, see, so he did this whole thing and this whole concept of Metatron, and then what happened was Metatron came back to him and said, well, we gave, we put you number one, now you gotta give something back. And he was saying, oh, shit, they gonna take my dog, they gonna sacrifice my dog. And then Metatron came and said, look, you was molested as a boy when some white man used to come to Mexico and molest you, and you gotta tell the people about that. How the white oh, man, yeah. how the white man used to come to Mexico, this white man used to come over there and fuck with the Mexican boys, and he was molested. So he had to come out and tell the people that and all. But anyway, the key here is, one of the other hidden mysteries is that the Metatron thing was a conjure of some stuff that this cat is pilot. And it's in the actual tape, Supernatural, Mama Shola. Mama Shola, which is, this particular book is real good because um, this particular book here, they show you the correspondence between Paulo, Santeria, and Yoruba. Um, um, Santeria and Yoruba. 
um, in this particular in this particular book, the book on Apollo. Um, but that's interesting. But the whole Metatron thing, I dealt with a lot of that in 1994. Uh, 1994, uh, I dealt with the uh, the whole Metatron thing. Uh, let's see, going right along. Let's see here. We're gonna get some of this uh, some things out the way. Uh, um, I want to get some things out of the way. Uh, let's see here. Um, uh, before we go, because we got a lot of information I, I need to give out now. I'm just trying to see here if I got any other uh, um, other stuff based on what's going down in the news or whatever in the hard copy thing that's going on and stuff. Number one, I like to say we it's not by mistake that uh, it's not by mistake that we're doing this thing here. Uh, tonight and when we get through it, it'll be the morning of the Super Bowl. Remember, that's another ritual. The Super Bowl is nothing but the Grail. The Holy Grail, uh, the bowl, the cup, that's the whole nine yards and stuff. So the Grail, the Super Bowl, all that shit is, 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 is a part of an elaborate ritual. And whatever team they decide to go, you know, they did the big one in 99 with the Titans and the Rams which is all mystical characters and stuff like that and all. We talked about that whole thing that happened in 99 uh, and all. So this whole Super Bowl thing, you see what I'm saying? Um, that's the part. What's that? Yeah, it's no coincidence that the two teams are the pirates. 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 Yeah, pirates. The Buccaneers and the Raiders yeah. and the Bucs. Well, see, it's all a part of a mythology and role playing. And we talked about the whole role playing thing. These are role playing books that the white people get into. It's all a part of the ancient mythology and all this stuff is decided on the mythology. Uh, go get there, go see that movie, Games of New York. Then you'll see it's like the Games of New York. Is, anybody see this movie yet? It's a tight, cold blooded movie because the movie shows you that all the things, the firemen, the police, and everything, all those were games in the mid 1800s. Then later on, become the, the, you know, the fraternal order of the police. Games of New York. And you know, the Games of New York. The movie, the Games of New York. And then they had all the firemen would roll up, your house burning down, and they would decide how much shit they're going to get. <laughs> So they had a lockdown on the fire. You go out to, if you try to out the fire, you get killed because this is the game they sell over the fire. So they come up there and go, now look, we need to know how much shit we're going to get out of this damn building. Meanwhile, the building burning up and you got to negotiate. Well, you can have so much shit of these families' things. And until they got that right, the building is burning and the clock is ticking. You see what I'm saying? And they showed it. So what became the, the paternal order of the police, the paternal order of the firemen, this, that, and all, that's what happened out of the games in New York and set up the, the whole synopsis for the whole, the whole country. Uh, and the whole country, which deals with the same thing when you talk about the paternal order of the police, which is a fucking game. In this case, their particular southern police going back, and I've been talking about this for about two years now, the southern police is an extension of the Ku Klux Klan. Yep. Uh, and, uh, it, it, it's the paternal order of the uh, extension of the dog on Klu Klux Klan. You see what I'm saying? So therefore, this movie is documenting that. You see what I'm saying? You need to check that movie out just to see just exactly how shit that you've been holding dear and, 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 and pledging allegiance to and turning your children over to that ain't nothing but damn games. That's all this shit is. You see what I'm saying? It ain't nothing but thuggery. Right. You see what I'm saying? And then you go to jail for, for knocking over a, a gas station and stuff, and you're up in there going to Jesus Christ like you did something wrong. Or <laughs> uh, like you're not in a criminal society. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. You know, and you feeling all guilty and stuff, thinking that karma got something to do with what you did in a criminal society. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. So uh, this, 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 this is ridiculous. So go see that particular movie, uh, uh, Games of New York and all. I just want to see a couple of things and all. Uh, uh, a couple of things, uh, um, like, we, like I said, we need to recover things like, um, um, like the movie again, uh, uh, the movie, uh, the one with um, O.J. Simpson and all, when they went to Mars. What's the name of that movie? Capricorn One. Because this whole shit is coming up again and all, fake ass thing. You know damn well they didn't go to no moon in 1969. Right. And, uh, and the reason why I bring this up again is that they did not go to the moon, they faked the whole thing. Because first of all, let's look at the pathology. Since when did the white man go somewhere that he didn't put on lockdown and then try to get his ass back up in? Now here it is and so you can't even get a damn uh, yard, you can't get a block out there, you can't even get this much of dirt without him charging taxes on, or uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? Real estate is the most, is, is the greatest commodity the white boy got. And yet he got the biggest real estate in the universe sitting up there so-called quote-unquote uninhabited, and he ain't back up there when he said he went already? You know what I'm saying? Now this man said he been to the damn moon, and why the hell ain't no fucking
up and down Marriott's and shit on the moon now. You see what I'm saying? Let's just look at the pathology of the white man, like John Henry Clark said, study his temperament. Hell, if he'd been to the moon, we'd be on the moon now. And my point is, if you've been to the moon, why the hell are you in a fucking space station? It's a space station that's not stable. You got the moon that's stable. And I'm talking about how they bounce around on the moon and you can see the curve of the moon. Right now, we stand on the earth. Have you ever seen the curve of the fucking earth? <laughs> The shit was all fake, but the reason why I bring this back up, and they showed that in the movie Capricorn 1, that they faked the lunar landing, and the reason why I'm bringing back that up, because they said that we can fool these assholes to think that we've been to the moon. Then we can fool these people over our buildings and any other shit that we want to give them. We can fool them, and that set up the precedent to say, hey, through mass media, we can fool the fucking world. You see what I'm saying? So that's the concept of what the whole lunar shit was about. You see what I'm saying? Now they've been going to the West Coast. They started that in the late 70s, going with the space shuttle, because that's the only thing they ever did. They had never gone to no fucking moon. And the Capricorn, one movie, and how they Fox, the Fox TV program say over, what, 200 people died? Putting that lie off, the motherfuckers who knew all was hunted down and killed? But it goes back to the same thing. Once they did that in 1969 and fooled fucking people, why don't we never see Neil Armstrong and these motherfuckers no more? Right. Never saw them no more. You understand what I'm saying? And they get that. You see this little shit they land on the moon with? It look like a little trash can. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm supposed to believe this shit. And I'm supposed to believe now. I'm going to ask you something. If you own 285 and your goddamn car break down, you understand what I'm saying? Let's say your timing belt go. There's no way the motherfucker gonna radio and tell you to pull something off, the, uh, off your rim of your car and make a damn timing belt. You see this Apollo 13 shit? Where they told them to take plastic and all kind of little shit and make some shit to get their ass back home? And we supposed to leave this dumb shit? You know what I'm saying? So this concept here is that they can set up, so it's, 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 if they can do that in 1969, what do you think they can do with the implosion? of the World Trade Center. It's blew the fucking building up. You see what I'm saying? The implosion of the Northern World Trade Center. You see what I'm saying? And put people on lockdown with this type of stuff. Very key that you, you, that, that, that you understand that type of science on, on, on what's going on. I just want to um, give you that, give you that, and I'm moving right along and stuff. Um, I still want to recap some things that we talked about the last time. Now, this is, now, this is one of the keys. Um, Ever since 1997, in doing research in the mysteries of melanin, doing research in the mysteries of melanin, number one, I found out the most important element with melanin is not food. Because melanin is a pre-physical substance. The most important element to melanin, and I've been talking about this since 1997, is water. 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 The key. Water. Water is the key to melanin. That is the key to melanin. Now, this is very important because the sister, there's a sister named Mona Harris that been dealing with water therapy. She's been dealing with this stuff for years. How, how, how late is you, you, do you have some stuff on her? How, how late is that? Uh, I'm talking about how early. I'm saying what? Uh, she's been dealing with water therapy for years. This woman named Mona Harris. She had a water in the brain. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying. She's been dealing with this, this stuff for, for, for years. Um, and she was dealing with the water. She even went to a Noni, I think that's where she fucked up. Because she went to a Noni conference. I'm going to get this from, from um, Chicago. She went to a Noni conference and was telling them that uh, it's not the Noni juice, it's the water that you need. It's the same thing I've been telling you about the melanin. Melanin goes with water. Now to set up the apparatus, to set up the type of structure so you can understand this, I'll repeat. My time is based on the water and do the information based on this. So this is Mona Harris been talking about this water for years. In so much that the government came in and confiscated some of her water experiments. Well right there, when the government shows up, you know you roll up with some shit when they come take your stuff. <laughs> so they came in and confiscated some of her water experiments. Um, a couple of years ago, she later on bounced back and put out this stuff called Sister Mo's Water. Is that the name of it? Is that, is that it? Did you get some stuff off the internet? Yeah. yeah what was it? Sister Mo's Water? 
Uh, I don't, I don't remember what she said. She said but then once you put out this water, now you know lately they've been dealing with a lot of stuff on the water, pentahydrate, all this kind of different water stuff, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know, his brother, he cares about his water and shit, uh, <laughs> Fiji, you know. But anyway, the key to another thing is the water. Anyway, she put out his system of his water, and all of a sudden, on Martin Luther King's birthday, she found dead, that whole have a heart attack in your sleep. Wow. Now, they show you that shit on, um, Forrest Whitaker did a movie where they showed, they got the technology, they rub up against you, and this shit, they give you, they give you get in your skin, they give you a heart attack in a day, at least 48 hours. You see what I'm saying? So she ends up dying. You see what I'm saying? Spiritually, people is doing some stuff spiritually like that, that they, they, they don't just die from no natural causes. That shit is all hooked up. Right. Reason why I know, because like I say, I go to sleep at night. If I wake up and something is burning, I say, God, I must have, something must have went down. Because the Kundalini goes straight to that spot and it burns off whatever that deal is and shit like that. No. And also, um, you just to come down and die like that, just like Flojo, just die in a fucking sleep. You know what I'm saying? So just come down and die like that and stuff, you see what I'm saying? But they already, but see, they had already confiscated the water anyway. You see what I'm saying? Uh, a couple of years ago, she came out with this water pro product, but she went to a Noni conference and the Noni, Noni she was everybody dealing and she was telling them about the water, you need the water. Which goes back to what I was talking about in the last lecture that you got to understand. Um, well, I'm going to go back in this because we got to, uh, because this is, this is one of the key things. Uh, my mother, my, my brother said, my, uh, I was getting ready to go to Vegas. He said, well, uh, mom's coming down and stuff, man. I got to get her out there and teach this asshole. She, she knows that. She's going to the damn doctor. The doctor doesn't convince her with this uh, uh, high blood pressure medicine bullshit. And she going man all uh, and now. She said she had damn near by day with this thing. Because what now? Now, I had an uncle, uh, a cousin named Gray Henry in 1968, 69 was on dialysis. Now I remember this thing. It was so rare for a black person to be on dialysis in the kidney machine mm -hmm. and all. It, took, um, it, it was almost damn near 20 years before I even know, heard of a couple other black people in the late 80s that would be on dialysis. Now my brother said, you go down and come, but I got an aunt that, that her, her brother is on dialysis. The, the aunt is my mother. The brother died in 75. The sister's still living, you know, sister's still living. She's on dialysis. My brother comes to take her to the dialysis uh, place, and it's packed by as many people up in here in the motherfucking shit on the machine. On dialysis, you see. Whereas, we hardly knew anybody on it. And it's just like that, that, that diabetes thing. Only motherfucker you know had diabetes, when I was born, it was people born with it. Now all of a sudden, you get overweight and shit, you got diabetes. You see what I'm saying? Very key. That means something in the diet or something they're giving you. And basically, motherfuckers coming down with shit is the people who go to the damn doctor. And it's just like this. If you don't know you got some shit, you don't have it. Right. <laughs> it's like they say, the, the big old bumblebee, that's the way, the, the based on the body, the bumblebee, well, this is the white man's arrogance. It's based on the body and the wingspan, it's impossible for this big bumblebee to fly. But it don't know it can't fly, so it flies anyway. <laughs> What's a good concept to explain what I'm talking about? If you don't know you got some shit, then that damn it you ain't got it. You ever heard the old people say, no, not unless you believe in that shit. You ever heard old people say this thing here? Well, I don't believe in that, so therefore it, it don't get ain't real. You know what I'm saying? That can be fucked up in a way, because we've always said that by magic and shit. You know, everybody got roots stories around the house. But yet I don't believe in that, because the Bible says you don't fucking believe in this shit. You know what I'm saying? But my point here is, uh, uh, if you don't, how the hell you know you got some knowledge, you're fucking around some damn doctors. And they invent shit for you to have. Now this is shit. I think I talked about this. I don't think I talked about this. I was on, my brother told me this on the way when I was going to go to Vegas, on the way to the airport. He said, uh, Cause during Christmas, all these black women was going to the hospital. Uh, you know, not that have a little faint or something fall out, go to the hospital. People drop them off at the goddamn hospital, go home, come back. They, by the time they get home, they say, "Oh, your your mama dead." Bunch of motherfuckers dying like this all during Christmas. The black woman, they're dealing with that uh, that pre-desegregation black woman. 
You see what I'm saying? Somewhere in the 60 to 65 range on up. You see what I'm saying? So they got stocks of black people or something that they that they, they, they can say, they say, well, these are the strongest humans on the planet because they got through all the bullshit when other motherfuckers been dead. You see what I'm saying? When other motherfuckers been dead. You see? So all these black women doing Christmas start dying. That's because they kill them. They was killing, they was killing these black women basically because they was vulnerable enough to fall prey to just going to the fucking hospital. So we down there, one of the one of the so she had a uh, heart was hurting. Her name is Leslie, she's 70. Her heart was hurting a little bit. So what she does is she she goes to the hospital and all. They got a little pill they give it out, a nitroglycerin pill. You know, hook the shit right up. Cause she had a slight heart attack. They show her, we got a pill in the other room. But if you want to, we can send you to Florence, South Carolina, which is 30 miles away, to get a goddamn pill that they got in the next room. And they convinced her to go 30 miles away and she dies on the way going 30 miles with a pill that they had in the room because they're killing motherfuckers. Right. They're killing people and stuff like that. So I'm going to the airport and so my brother was like, yeah, they're killing all the stuff. She said, now the same Aunt Jane, the brother was on dialysis. She on dialysis. He go up to dialysis place and shit packed with niggas. And we didn't even know about this shit. 69, we're like, that motherfucker got some strange shit. You know, ain't nobody dying with no kidney stuff. Right. Now we're going we're gonna to break this down. So. She go up in the hospital. She all nasty with him. Ah, 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 ah. It's nasty with people. My brother said, look. So them motherfuckers gonna kill you up in that goddamn hospital. <laughs> you need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's all nasty. So she went up in there, she was nasty again. The motherfucker doctor like, okay, the goddamn we tired of this shit. Because that's what they do, they kill motherfuckers up in there. And only because they like you, know, they tried to kill her. Look, they tried to kill her in 97. She's been to get some assist off, dug off her ass. It was, it was a little malignant, malignant cyst, looked like a black head. Dug off her ass and ended up staying a whole goddamn year. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ended up staying a whole year. So something good came out. I got some oxycotton from that shit. <laughs> That's a pain killer for your ass. <laughs> you know, shit killing all the little white children and stuff. You know, if you take it as a painkiller, man, it, it works. But if you bite into it, you get fucked up. <laughs> so the little white kids. So I'm a grown man. I bit into one just to see how this shit go. Bit into that shit. And we're like, oh, like, I'm serious. I'm <laughs> chilling. <laughs> the little white kids go and they take six of them and be getting killed. But they give this shit to cancer patients. So anyway, she go to the hospital and she stay in there a whole damn year. I'm going to show you the science now because you got to understand it's all a network. She got a rent control apartment in Brooklyn, New York. Hundred and three other black people, the only one in the apartment from the 70s got the rent control. Everybody else is paying something like $1,300 damn dollars. She paying three hundred. So this is a motherfucker that's getting cut off a thousand dollars. He's gonna try some shit to kill your ass. Yeah, yeah. So what he did was they he went, they were doing some magic. These crackers are into the magic. And they were doing some magic and they were keeping her sick from New York. She was down here then. They looked and they said she had a whole, they said she had one of the best insurance plans. Go get the movie Critical Care. James Spader. Critical care, James Spader. When they said, why are you keeping this man alive up in here? So this, they, they said, this man is already rain dead. When you keep him alive, he said, look. He said, this motherfucker got the whole world. He got the best medical plan in the world. We're going to keep him alive until the cows come home. <laughs> They're getting paid. So Jane Nelson had one of them bad, bad ass plans. You know what I'm saying and stuff? So every time she would get ready to go home, they'd make her sick again. And it was a damn year. She was supposed to get a pimple off her ass and she'd been up in there a damn year. We told her that to go. We told her we could do the herd. But you know, black people of a certain age, they think that the doctor is God. You see what I'm saying? So she up in the fucking hospital talking shit. My brothers, they don't kill your ass. This was recent. <laughs> they gave that motherfucking woman some shit. She got sick. They put something, they gave us some, we tired of this shit. They gave us some shit. She got sick. She was one that they liked. You see what I'm saying? She was one that they liked. They check out your background. She was one that they liked. You understand what I'm saying? So they was keeping her alive. Most of the niggas they kill, like Juju said, they don't. They, the, most people in the hospital, you don't die until they decide to kill you. You see? So she talking shit. They gave her some shit to get her sick. Here come the other nurse. The other nurse comes in to give her the final dose to take her ass out. 
The nurse come in because it's a spiritual thing. The spirit came in there and interceded. The nurse came in. The black nurse said, I'm supposed to give you this, but it's going to kill you. So I'm going to get rid of the evidence. And she broke it up and put it in her fucking pocket. And uh, say, I'm going to come in and administer this on top of what they gave you. This is the final blow to, to, to kill you. This is what I'm going to tell you now. Mm. You know, they tired of your monkey ass. This is a fucking hospital. What you think this is? A, a healing center? <laughs> this is a fucking concentration camp. A terminal act uh, to the nurse because the script and jumped on the nurse. So the black nurse come up in there and go, um, I'm supposed to give you this. I'm supposed to give you this shit here. I'm going to give it to you. You're going to die. What the fuck are you So I'm going to get rid of the evidence. She broke it up put it in her goddamn pocket. Jane saw that shit. Jane nice as a motherfucker now. Jane got me be sweep, fucking sweeping up for the bastards down there. You know when she go down because she on the dialysis shit. But I'm trying to tell you. So, dealing with this, what is the science? We tapped into this the last lecture, but let's go further into this thing because water and melanin is the key. All right. To give you a synopsis on how this thing works is, and you might have heard me talk about this a lot, but we're going to go further into this particular thing because this is the key for the millennium right now. This is the key for the millennium right now. Let's break into this particular science. Um, in the melanin, the melanin is a substance it has every chemical compound on the earth and in the universe inside of your body. So it's just like Valentine said, there's no such thing as these healthcare products. You don't need none of that shit. All the herbal shit is just to make it paid with. Now that's good for the herbal supplements if you don't know how to tap into the alchemical aspect of healing. Now, if every element and all the herbs are already in the fucking body, what the hell you need something outside when your body comes equipped with everything on the earth and everything that's even outside of the earth in the universe is in the body. And some special shit that the universe don't have, that's what makes you the Christos seed of the vessel. You see what I'm saying? So, the key here is that particular those substances and stuff are all over the body, but they're dormant. They're in certain crevices and cracks or whatever, all types of things all over the body, and they're separated from each other. And the only way to get them to come together so they can coagulate, you see, to give you the elixir of healing is water. You know how you got specks in the bottom of some, some, some a bowl and stuff and all, you pour the water and all mixed together? Mm -hmm. The Kool-Aid now, some motherfuckers, they all know, you know, they might have to that Kool-Aid. You see what I'm saying? So, the water is the key. Now, like I said, if the mythology says, and there's, there's a lot of mythology on this, muses, mellow scenes, water nymphs, all these things in the ancient mythology that we don't study, the mythology always talk about an aquatic or some type of oceanic, reptilian, aquatic, amphibious type of origin of us when we were on a higher level. If we're talking about an amphibian, aquatic type of marine type level that we came from as a part of our history, if we're talking about a return cycle that it says in the book The Cosmic Doctrine by Dion Fortune. Let me see if I, 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 I have that to give, to give you the exhibit. I'm gonna read, I'm gonna read what the cosmic doctrine says. If I can find this thing by Dion Fortune. Let's see if um Dion Fortune. Cosmic Doctrine. Write that book down. Very key book. Cosmic Doctrine, Dion Fortune. Also Psychic Self-Defense. Hell of a good book that you need right now. Anybody got psychic self-defense? Hell of a book. Yeah. Uh, one sister fucking around talking shit on the job upstate New York and them crackers. Start kicking her in the ass with the magic. And she was almost dead. But she remembered one of my tapes that her sister was sending her. And she remembered the tapes and I talked about psychic self-defense by Dion Fortune. And she got the book and she did what was in the book and it saved her fucking life. So, uh, 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 so Cosmic Doctrine, Dion Fortune. Um, 
She has another book called On the Gates of Death or something like that. Uh, Cosmic Doctrine, Dion Fortune. I want to read this particular science. Uh, I want to read this particular science. Uh, bear with me one minute. Um, okay. The connection of the sign of Ain. Ain is the top of the tree of life, the, the tree of life, and perhaps the note to Dion Fortune's remarks concerning the zodiacal complex associated with it there in mind. She's talking about something about the signs of Gemini. So we're going to deal with you're going to go and you're going to research the missions of something with Gemini and the Divine Twins. Because the Divine Twins is in all ancient mythology. Shu and Tefnut in Egypt. Hormaku, which is the Sphinx in Kemet, uh, is, is the twin. Twin lions in Egypt. Twin deities in voodoo called Marasa. Twin, the twin, they, they got the twins in Europe. The twins is always in all ancient mythology. So it's got something to do with the twins and Gemini. How many people in here Gemini? Jim and I got two personalities. And most of the time, if you're Sagittarius, the flip side, the other side of that is Jim and I. Motherfuckers got two personalities and shit like that and all. So a lot of times it ain't you, it's your other motherfucking self. <laughs> acting a damn fool. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Now, not necessarily saying that all of them, because some people, it's a, it's, a, it's a, see, when you got the zodiac, you have a, you have a spear, and you have a house down dot in the middle of all the house. And every now and then you go closer to the dock. The more and more you go closer to the dock, you access all the houses. So once you know, once you master that, and you go closer to the dock, which is the black dock, then what happens here is you have the characteristics of all the houses. It's only when you're furthest away that you're ruled by the house in that planetary configuration. So the Gemini, so the, so the sign of Gemini, the sign of Gemini for the forces of sign that influence Atlantis will influence. Earth again in a later age. You see what I'm saying? In a later age. These stars are set in configurations of somewhat similar to those that influenced Atlantis. Now, very key. Cosmic Doctrine, page 147. Dion Fortune's book. Atlantis is called the Diluvian world before the deluge. Then you have what is called the anti-Diluvian anti world, which is supposed to be after the Diluvian, or something like that, or uh, something. Uh, Atlantis is before the delusion, of, before the water, or whatever the deal he is, is a pre-physical place. In mythology, you got Ionis, these snake people, you got Jesus connected with the fish, you got all this thing here dealing with the fish, Leviathan, uh, all this stuff dealing with water, dealing with the, uh, like I said, mermaids, these are mythological figures, mermaids, melusines, as well as in Europe where you get the god, the goddess Olakun. Some say it's a, it's a male, but it's actually a woman, because we trace it back to Tiamat. The goddess Olakun, which is up under the ocean that will rise again, that will rise again in Europe with the goddess Olakun. Uh, in Apollo, she's called Madre de Agua. Now, uh, so we're talking about some type of marine life or some kind of connection with us. And they showed you the picture with the babies be born underwater and all this kind of stuff here and all. Right. Even in the movie Waterworld. He mastered, the guy in Waterworld was the master because what? He had gills. Remember they said I saw the movie Waterworld? And he had gills and they were trying to find um, water. But he could go up, he was one to go up under the ocean and see the other world and stuff. The, the old world because he had gills. That's got something to do with your ass. Or stick close because uh, it's got something to do with you now. Now, key here is if we came from some type of marine and some type of amphibious structure in the past, and the, in the Dion Fortune book they say certain signs will be in configuration that was in configuration in Atlantis will be in configuration and will influence the earth again in a later age. Okay? Now, if there's a certain astro ast astronomical configuration. Now, in alchemy, the melanin, everything that is in the stars is also inside of you. And every nerve and everything is also broken down in astrono astronomical planetary form inside of you. It's always connected with you. Okay? Now, the key here is, if we have this astronomical 
configuration that comes back into play, then the government knows, because the guy David Ike is already talking about the reptilians rising, but we all know that the reptilians is us, the Kundalini people. So if the cycle changes, and what influence that Atlantis will influence it, influence the earth again, then they understand that there were some dormant things that's in you that could not manifest outside of the cycle. But once the cycle changes, there's some dormant things that's inside of you that can be reactivated based on you drink water. Now this is the key. Yeah, you've been drinking water all your life, but then again, on the other hand, we're talking about a new world. Look at Atlanta. It ain't never been this goddamn cold down here since I've been in this baby. It get cold for three days and it warms up. That's the plan. Cold for two days, it warms up. Cold for a day, it warms up. It's been cold since the first of the new year. That's unheard of. They're, that's that's unheard of and stuff. So we do know, just like that that, that big ass bird with that big uh, uh, wingspan as big as an airplane they had in the uh, in the Alaska news uh, on, on October the 16th. All type all types of shit that's going down. You see what I'm saying? The point here is if and I talked about this the last the last time, but I'm, I'm gonna get into this and get into this little water thing right quick. If the cycle change, we already know, obviously the cycle change, ain't they going up into Iraq? Ain't they blowing up buildings? Ain't they going there? You know what I'm saying? Aren't they, uh, when they ain't talking about one motherfucker fucking over them, they talking about another person fighting war in Korea and all this kind of shit here? You see what I'm saying? They know, ain't they locking down the damn airports? They know that it's jump off time and it's got something to do with you. Meanwhile, they're putting your black leaders behind bars. You see what I'm saying? To break your momentum and your morale where you go, Jesus is the answer and white people are the answer. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Now the key here is, if the cycle changes and you start drinking water, enough water to unlock these latent gates, your physiological existence will change based on you will have a metamorphosis inside of you where you might come and turn into a reptilian type figure that they are saying that they must fight against. You see what I'm saying? David Icke is just taking up the doggone uh, fight on this. They've been talking about fighting against this reptilian for the last 15 years. You see what I'm saying? The last, the last 15 years and stuff. So therefore, the key here is, is dehydration. Dehydration for black people. You gotta ask the question, why did they fire this last water company? All this stuff is to take into account. You see what I'm saying? Uh, you're gonna change the tape, then we're gonna, well, how, how much time you got? You got a minute. You know, why did they change the water company? Because remember now, if they want to put some shit down to destroy you, you got to make change publicly. You see what I'm saying? So when they start working on shit, you go, oh, well, you know, this is fire, United Water. So now they're out there working and they're making changes and shit, but they're locking down the water. You best believe that's what time it is. You see what I'm saying? You best believe that is what time it is and stuff. And the Shirley Franklin come to find out this motherfucker here is dangerous. You come to find a lot of shit that's going on with this motherfucker here. You see what I'm saying? We need to do homework on the kidneys. Now, isn't it interesting that in the Greek mythology, the great mother, one of the ancient forms of the great mother is called Erkidna, which is also connected with the, with, with the star Sirius. You get that in even Robert Graves' Greek myths. Robert Graves' Greek myths book, um, they talk about Erkidna. Uh, you get Carl Carini's book, um, Gods of the Greeks, and there's a whole section in there on Erkidna. Then you get the word kidneys. But it's also, you know, her kidney is a form of the great mother. She's also from a Tiamat, um, Apep in Egypt, Tiamat in Samaria. Um, she's also a Rescogal in Samaria, Babylon, but Babylonia. But this, uh, um, she's also from a Kali in India, living in the Hebrew Lua. But the key here is her kidna. That's where you get the word kidneys from which is talking about the great mother, which is talking about some type of alien organ. Watch this shit here now. Go back and get the movie The Faculty. 
Remember the movie The Five Which came out in 1999? Yeah. And then the goddamn movie, the, the teachers came over. Number one, who are the teachers? We are the teachers of humanity. So the teacher took the teachers, and we had a nigga who was a drunk, and they was all drinking the water. Now, what does this mean? These people have been doing work for years. I've seen some of these mythology books. I got tons of them in the house and stuff. And I'm trying to tell you, as I said, even in the book, the movie Video Drone, 1981, why the guy said, something that's in my head, he said, that I thought was some type of cyst or something, or some type of abnormality in Video Drone, the guy's, uh, guy's Video Drone on, on, on the, on the uh, video talking. He said, I find out that this abnormality is a certain organ that is taking over my body. Now listen to this shit I'm telling you. This is some amazing shit. You ain't gonna hear no place else. You understand what I'm saying? Other motherfuckers talking about down with hope and up with dope or up with dope and 